Hey everybody, Kevin Purcell, GottaBeMobile.com. I've got the Drafts app for iPad. I want to go, go ahead and fire that thing up. This is a simple text editor, at least that's what it looks like on the surface. Notice that you can type it in, into it and it will give you a basic text. It has a keyboard, the little toolbar up here gives you some um, basic uh, punctuation marks hit the three buttons at the end, three dots at the end, and it gives you the other punctuation marks that are usable. Uh, it's got a, a undo and redo button. These arrow keys, the larger arrows go forward or back a word at a time, the other ones go uh, a single character at the time. But this thing does a lot more than just text editing because it has a feature called actions. When you open up the actions, it allows you to export your text to a number of different places. So I want to show that to you here in just a second, but let's take a look at the basic interface first. Notice that uh, this is your drawer. It shows you all the different text that you've got. Let me fire up. Here's a, an appointment that I created and was able to send out to Fantastical, which is a great iPhone app. I wish they made an app, iPad version. Uh, you can create a new document there and start typing in it. Notice it gives you your word and character count. Over here on the other side, you notice that uh, there's a link button there. Let's say we uh, create a link in our document. At first, it'll be just basic text. Hit the link button and all links will become live. The text button allows you to change the interface. Notice how uh, the font is looking differently. It also lets you change the background. You can create larger font, smaller font, a sepia, black, or a white background. And there's a nice long list of uh, font faces that you can use. But again, let's go back over here to the actions. It has a long list of actions. For example, I can tweet from this app. I can post to Facebook, send to email, um, I can export things like events, reminders, a list of reminders, uh, just a lot of different things. For example, I could open it up in pages and uh, add some formatting to it. Up here are these one, two, three in Roman numerals. Uh, this is our columns. You can customize the lists. So for example, you could have maybe all apps, uh, all services, whatever you want. Hit the settings button and here's where you manage your custom or your actions. Uh, if you tap on one of them it gives you a chance to uh, tell how to use that one. You can put it in one of the different lists or just hide it all together. Ask whether you want to confirm before you actually do that. If you hit the arrange button it allows you to drag them up and down. Notice that I've hidden a bunch of these. These were all built in and I hid them because I don't plan to use uh, very many of these. If you hit the visit action directory, it'll open up the action directory in uh, Safari. And you can go in there and see some of the actions that users have created and uploaded there. You can create your own actions. I haven't done that yet. But notice the huge array of things that you can do. Personally, though, for simple text editing, I like IA Writer a little bit better. For editing documents where you want a lot of formatting, I use Pages. The reason I like Pages, I also use a Mac. Uh, notebook computer and I can open up the pages on my Mac and create a document there and then it will save it in iCloud and it will automatically be in pages on the iPad. So that's maybe a little bit easier if you're uh, a Mac user. Uh, but if you want to use drafts for iPad, it'll be $399 I believe it is and $299 for the iPhone version. Unfortunately there aren't two different versions. Just a couple little critiques I've got of it. Using the actions, when I tried, I added this email to myself action from the actions directory, and it didn't quite work right. Also, when I first started it up, um, allowing, being able to save to my uh, uh, Dropbox, uh, it kept dropping the connection to Dropbox. Sometimes it takes a while to export to these, uh, but other than that, it works. I, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of these apps that's a love-hate relationship. Uh, people who want just a simple text editor or want more formatting options, they're going to hate it. Folks who want a text editor that interfaces with all these different services and you like to tinker around and maybe add a bunch of different services or maybe you want one app that will rule them all, 
uh, you can you know use one app to post to Twitter, Facebook, uh, app.net, uh, Tumblr. You also want to use the same app to write long documents. Uh, this is probably the app for you, and so you probably will, will really like it. Personally, it's not my favorite. I would actually uh, never probably use this to post to any social networks, and I would use Pages or AI Writer to do basic uh, editing of, of either formatted or unformatted documents. But you may want to give it a try. Go over to the written review at gotobemobile.com where you can find links to the app in the App Store. This has been Kevin Purcell with IA, I'm sorry, with uh, Drafts for iPad. This has been Kevin Purcell with Drafts for iPad. Thanks for watching.